Hey guys, 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 nimefika hapa job nikasema before niingie kuna vitu zingine sikwe nimeona. Kuna vitu zingine sikwe nimeona. Sasa kama hii marriage certificate ni 100k, watu watakuwa wanaoana kwa nini? Hakuna mtu atakuwa na wafanya harusi, tutakuwa tunafanya kamwisti. Alafu jana sikwe nimeona ati kama wewe una travel na watoto, wewe ni mkenya na watoto wako wako na another citizenship. Ati visa ya watu hii kitambo ilikuwa free. Sasa ni 200 euros. 200 dollars, let's say 200 dollars. So watu hii kama uko na wawili unalipa 400 na wewe na mzee mnalipa 200. Hizo ni so sita already. Guy Uwi, mwadhani. Alafu, niliwambia, hizi pesa zote, tutakuwa tunalipia watu, tunapata na Dubai. Tunalipia wazazi holiday, tunapata na Dubai. He? Ama tunapata na huko Zanzibar. Kwa sababu hii maneno haileti bidi. Alafu, umeona story ya passport. Kama wewe ni maskini, utabaki nyumbani. He? Sikuizi passport siya mtu ambaye hajiezi. Passport ni ya mtu ambaye anajieza. Hakuna kitu hatari kama mdomo tamu ikuje ikuambie vile atafanya na yale anakuambia atafanya wakati alikuwa na uwezo hakufanya lakini leo anakuambia mimi nitakuja kufa he he tunaelewana tunaelewana he umeona venye wameongeza bei he Umeana ID. Kei. Okay. ID squeeze unafaa ukichukua unapatia mama yako anaweka chini ya chini ya mattress. Mwadhani this is so sad. Yeah? I feel like wanataka wale watu ambao tuko nje tukae nje kabisa. Tukae nje kabisa na wenye wako ndani mbaki huko mteseke kabisa. Ha? Yeah? Mm. Guy had a death certificate. Oi. Bad certificate kitambo ilikuwa 50 bob saa hii ni tu, ni tu so kuchukua mpya Certificate of current death kitambo ilikuwa 50 saa hii ni tu so at least that, that's also eh inaenda tu guy Yani ya uuuuy Mwadhani He eh? Alafu unaangalia hii kitu unaona kuna kitu ambayo hauko umeona. Hmm? Unaangalia unaona hii sikwa nimeona jana. Unaangalia unaona hii sikwa nimeona. Tuta invite watu wetu wakuje huku tunawa invite na ma visit visa wakuja wakatalia huku. Tukae huku si wote. Eh? Tukae huku si wote tuone mtato mtatoanisha kina nani. Nonsense guy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Ata passport. Mumesema <laughs> passport fee. Mumeongeza the ordinary ya 34 pages ilikuwa 4500. Sasa ni 7500. Ya 50 pages ilikuwa 6000. Sasa ni 9500. Ya 66 pages ilikuwa 7500. Sasa ni 12500. Kai. Kama wewe ni maskini wachana na Kenya <laughs> wachana na hawezi toka nje wamesema hata hakuna kutoka wenye mko huko mmefungiwa kabisa na venye tuko nje tumeachiliwa anyway we eh? niko uru niko bad Mungu usituache sisi peke yetu watu maskini hatuna nguvu Mungu simama na sisi ili nji hii ibadilike kukiwa kuna muizi ndani yetu Mungu usiona hivyo kutuondolea sisi hatuna nguvu baba nji hii ni yako Ulituleta hapa ukatuangusha kwenye mbwa zenye meno kubwa fisi. Guys, eh hey, nilikuwa kwa harakati zangu za kwenda kulala. Nikapatana na the latest trending news. Kenya imeamua kutufanya ile kitu tena. Hmm? Kenya imeamua kutufanya ile kitu tena Kenyans in diaspora. We ni kubaya. Ni kubaya especially kama we ni, ni mzazi umezaa watoto nje ili ya watoto wapate citizenship Kenya unalipa more than 1.2 1.2 million for the children of Kenyan citizen born outside Kenya wapate citizenship ya Kenya na hiyo hata sio yote wenye tulikuwa hatuna citizenship ya Kenya tulichange kama mimi nikachukua German citizenship before nilikuwa nalipa 50 dollars saa hii unafaa kulipa 
$100 for a single entry. Kama unachukua multiple entry, kitambo ilikuwa so, saini so tano. Uwi. Kama we ni spouse of a Kenyan citizen, eh, ndiyo citizenship yako iprosesiwe, kitambo ilikuwa 5,000, saini 50,000. Hmm? Jesus Christ. Wey madhani. Exit citizen of Kenya. Kitambo ilikuwa 50,000. Ndiwo uprocessiwe citizenship. Saini. Kitambo ilikuwa 10,000. Saini 50,000. Kiai madhani. Dual citizenship declaration. Saini 10,000. Before kukua na fi yoyote. Eh. Kiai madhani. Lakini wenzangu wacha ni wambie. Hakuna kitu kibaya kama siasa ya udanganyifu. Alright? Siasa ya madharau, siasa ya vitisho. I think Kenya wamejaribu ku make I think the government has tried to make Kenyans in diaspora wa invest home watu wamengadhia kwa sababu so far tuoni kwenye pesa zetu zinaenda so wameamua it's by force by fire. Wameamua wanatugua na wanachukua hiyo pesa by force by fire. Let me know guys what you think. Kama ujaona the latest news. I hope things wata change vile wanarekebisha. Mm? I hope kila kitu ta change. Mhm. Mhm. Ni hata sina shida. Hata hiyo kufungulishwa ingekuwa hata hiringeenda. Na mtu anapitishwa kama kawaida vile vitu vikuwa zinachekiwa. Vile zinaingizwa hapa hivi kwa kwa mizigo unatoka una, unapita. Hata ile tulipisha ngo visa kutoka 100 and something. But wewe usifungulishwe nini yako? Nini mzigo zako? Because at the end of the day zimekuwa control hakuna goods zote umeleta ziko illegal in Kenya. Hmm? But sasa inaka sisi wenye diaspora wenye kama sisi tumekaa huku ndio ni kama sisi ndio tunalipishwa tuna, tuna kisasi. Ni kama yani unafinyiliwa una kabisa. So mtu atatoka atatoka uchi. Like I saw another mtu mwingine alikuwa anasema jom jom je je kae utatoka uchi bila tangu. You know to enter here you have to pay a lot of money for the goods you are carrying even your own personal effects and this has made us a little bit scared. We were like are we gonna go home naked or what are we gonna do? Hmm? Kwa sababu ume umero umeporo umeporo umeangalia kila kitu na kipata every detail. Alafu watu wanatamaa mimi mpaka chocolate nishaifungulishwa akanembea hizo chocolate zote unapeleka wapi nikamwambia tuchukue kitaka hmm? hata chocolate tutambie uli hata yani eh hata si ah, wanataka uwapatie ngikuuliza hizo chocolate zote unapeleka wapi wanataka uwapatie mimi nilimwambia chukua mm. na walichukua nilikuja kuria la stakangi kupingana na wao i usually it na ile kuongea ile usiende tu siendangi na ile ujuaji yo man unajua ile unaongea najifanya ngata naongea ile kikuyu najifanya like mimi there is nothing that have changed the village in me is still in me hmm? you try to show like una una, una cooperate hmm? but unaweza pata mwingine hata mwenye hataki kujua kwanza kisha realize umetoka Germany ah wewe umeisha hmm? nasikia ni most ta- hmm? taxpayers wame wamehepa yeah. alafu nilikuwa nasema unaona sisi watu wenye tuko nje instead ya kwenda Kenya tutakuwa tuna invite watu wetu hata hiyo ndio hata hiyo zimekuwa zimechinjwa unakuja na mwambie unajua nini iko hivi na hivi na hivi sasa jipa kaa huku si wote kutoka nyanya na babu alafu atiruta penya huko Mungu akupee kiboko sema tu hivyo na next time mtamrudisha tu na vile kwanza alikuwa naomba niki imagine kwanza nikiona mama brown election before chuziwe eh alikuwa humble aki mtu before afike hapo juu ile hambo na sana kuanga ameweka eh Eh alafu this is the thing then yanakuja kuleta kwa Kenya. Mm-hmm. Sisi tangu anatetemeka anaambia shikoo sasa mtakuja wapi? Ulipendege hiyo expensive because corona ilibadilisha kila kitu. Unangojo hapo hapo. Mm? Ukifika hivi Kenya unafurahia ti oh my homeland hiyo hewa inakuchapa. Mm-hmm. Unatetemeka ukiwa JKA. Watu wanasema Azibio was not an option. Nimesema wajakoya. Wajakoya was the, was the man. Mia was to bring my Asian girlfriend Kenya but I think vacation naenda kwa Kenya na rudi after another mm. Brazil. <laughs> Sasa hata mm. mtu hata mwenye anafanya nilipata hata jamaa mwingine alikuwa anapitia anafanya transit kutoka anasema hataki kupitia Uganda. I don't know why but naelewango watu wakiwa na hizo suspicion mbona asipitie nini kwao anapitia mm-hmm. transit ya Kenya. Mm-hmm. Mm? Itafika mahali sana mtu anaanza ku transit kwa wenyewe because mm? you are fearing. You just want to go home. 
Naweza imagine sasa ngine unaweza sema uko na una declare kitu kuna zile mzigo mtu anabebanga kama maybe uh, generator au ama hizi ma product product hivi zenye mtu anataka ma machine. Hizo ndi vitu naweza ku claim sema you know what hizo tunalipia tax. Lakini small small items petty petty items hizo hizo uone bebe. Sure. I I find it to be a bit on the a bit extreme. I find it to be too extreme. Mm. And they voted to punish Uhuru. Uhuru sahi anateseka aji. Eh yeah, kuna kuteseka anateseka eh. Hmm? Kuna kuteseka anateseka. Hmm? Eh. Hey. Hey. Like Ebo sikia venye amani atasema. Ama sis ndio wewe ulikuwa mbele. Sorry na we break yangu imeisha ya job. Hello, hello. Hi Waithira, thank you Hi. so much. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much yeah, and Zana. good good I'm your silent follower. Uh-huh. Thank you. And um thank you so much. I love your lipstick. Ah, Iko poa hiyo takuja nyume ya hema. Hata ni ni mwili nimecombine. It's very nice. Um so I want to say hello to everyone. Nisingie tu pardon my manners without mm-hmm. saying hello. Uh, um, my fellow Kenyans, um, it's a good discussion. I was also shocked with the whole information. Uh, but on the other side, I'm looking at it in diff- two different ways. Mm-hmm. If only one break at those uh, prices, not so extreme the way they are doing, they have done it now. Because mm-hmm. we have lazima tujitegemee as a country for us to go on as a country uh taxes those id you know very well i've had most of you here you are in germany ana kunanga kitu ya bure germany ata id lazima ulipie even if it's not so much it's about 15 to 25 euros i don't know exactly right now you remember very well when we were changing or the people who have taken the doche uh, pass uh, you know the process and how expensive it was but in kenya vitu tumekuwa tukatulipangi tumekuwa tunalipezin it has been for us to grow as a country of which we are saying every day we want to grow lazima tulipe those services lakini sio extreme vile wamefanya wangeifanya i mean uh, gradually like we introduce uh, taxes i mean ease of uh, prices uh, id na passport and then in another six months or one year waongeze the, the other things but this one wamefanya two at once hiyo ndio unasikia iko na a lot of weight but for now um because i think it's gazetted mm. i don't think um I don't know how the Kenyan law in Ndanga in such a case but mm-hmm. if it's gazetted it can be revoked in parliament mm-hmm. I think so that is a thing that can be done in the parliament mm-hmm. na sisi wa Kenya sisi watu wa diaspora kimeturamba kwa nini tunaonyesha mm-hmm. tuko na pesa mingi sana tunachanga michango ya mamillions of money kwa ma online unaona zile pesa si utuma home kutuma tu kwa mwezi ukaangalia mm-hmm. pesa zenye diasporians wametuma home zina kuanga mingi sana sana that's why i'm saying we're doing mm-hmm. well as a country mm-hmm. ni vile tu wameziweka too high wameziweka yeah, too high hiyo yako ina make sense wange tu, wange tugonga kidogo si hivyo hata kidogo tunge... kidogo tu inu kidogo kidogo tu swali moja ngwacha nkulia yes. wewe swali moja sasa yes. before watoi wenye hawa watoi wetu wenye wako na foreign citizenship kuingia before ilikuwa free mbona saa hii 200 200 what 200 you have seen 200 euros And that one that's why i'm saying uh, ma, i mean uh, why it is it is wame, wame cook two figures they have just cooked figures mm-hmm. you know uh, actually if one gesema like it's 50 mtoto wa kuingia si bure anymore but maybe 50 euro ama 30 euros ama mm-hmm. you know something like that. something sensible i mean something but if we make extreme euros Mm-hmm. but it is a good idea only that they have done it extreme that is what i'll say i love another thing i feel like maybe we get to warn so unajua pia huku before watu wa kitu wanaiyakanga watu wanaongelelea watu as in inawekwa out there lakini haijapitishwa hii tunaambiwa ni kama iko hivi exactly ingewekwa yani ni kama warning at in one year's time in one year's time up 2025 we are starting 
to do this and that you know well, and you know that, that's when to party even i want to test waters you know you test mm -hmm. the waters how are people how is it coming but iwa may weka ni kama ni kama dictatorship yes, they didn't even, they didn't go to parliament what do you think there is this bill you know a petition mm -hmm. a parliament or that although ni sisi at somangi at the law i hear all those things ziko ni vile ziko zime implementiwa that what i hear mm -hmm. yes lakini si hata as you know na huku venye kwanza wao hata wananchi wa wa discuss vitu that's what i'm saying testing waters they mm -hmm. didn't give us time to test waters and actually diaspora this is the high time we are supposed to be one we are oh, supposed to have somebody representing representing the diaspora in the senate and in the parliament in both houses this is the time kwa sababu kama tungekuwa na mtu ako ndani ya parliament either in senate or in parliament wangetutetea but right now hatuna mtetezi we are just somewhere there wanatakanga tu pesa yetu alafu alafu wengine unaona walitutolea beshte yetu ya ya unaona huku walitoa huyu ambassador yeah niliona niliona waidera niliona yeah i saw it eh mimi sikujua ni nini ili happen but he he was there for us so no i think alionekana ameingiana na sisi sana lazima walete mtu ambaye atatu i don't know let me not go there <laughs> yeah, yeah pia mimi i felt like he yeah, okay yeah imagine imagine lakini si unajua wewe waidera sitaki sitaki kwenda hapo lakini si unajua eh nani wana wako nani wako kwa serikali yes Yes so uh, wacha tunyamazie hizo hapo. Mm -hmm. So uh, you people niko job pause yangu imeisha. Have a great great afternoon ladies. Thank Continue you so much for um, taking us in a different direction. As in even when you uh, at least we to take or another side like wange tugonga kidogo ama wange to inform first in advance. Exactly. Ndio so seri ndio Kenya yetu isimame. Mm -hmm. Cuz we are not supposed to be happy. Sasa ile tunasikia a Kenyan shilling iko 160. Mm -hmm. It's good for us we are working here. Exactly. It is good for us here but mm -hmm. remember half of us wa familia tuko kule. You know? Mm -hmm. Yes so we should not be happy when our shilling inaenda chini hivyo i mean inakuwa so useless mm -hmm. so have a great afternoon thank you again waidera for your space thank you so much karibu sana na okay. you too have a good one Hachi and you are doing a great hands. great job mm -hmm. thank you <laughs> bye bye everyone thank you say bye 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 mm. hello bye. Mm -hmm. hello what to the end akigandu eh Hello. Hi. Hi. Yangu ni kwa nataka kusema ni kwa Kenya match and yeah. those people really harassed me. I was tired nilikuwa na, nalia tu yani. Kwa sababu nimefika ile ukwe na ile furaha umefika nyumbani. Hauna hiyo furaha. Kare wali ni harass kwa kweli. Alafu aliniekea nilikuwa na simu mbili. Alafu aliniekea nilipe 48,000. He mimi nikaanza tu kukua kichani kaanza tu kuongea lugha ya mama. Mm -hmm. Kufanyika vizuri mkubwa hapo alikuwa tunatoka the same tribe. Mm -hmm. Akaniambia aya leta 5000. Kaambia mm -hmm. mimi mimi hata nimefika hapa sina hata pesa. Mm -hmm. Akaniambia basi leta chochote uko nayo. Mm -hmm. yes. Ukapumzike. Unaona that was really unfair kwa sababu The way Kare wanafanya hivyo airport. Do you know we are losing to worry. Kwa sababu uh, look for example Masai Mara ina compete na Serengeti. They are in the same location. Why should tourists come to Kenya? Na they can go to Tanzania and see Serengeti as well. Unaona? What a lose Mombasa. Mombasa itakuwa wana lose their to, to our tourists to to Zanzibar for example unaona yeah Kenya aita hiyo revenue yenye wanataka watakuwa wanailuza as well Allah anasema our shilling is losing meaning because of printing too much money <laughs> Allah another, another thing people will not choose to go with Kenya Airways as well 
watu wataanza kushukia Uganda wengine washukie Tanzania alafu na cross na nini kwa sababu boda ya Uganda nili, niliona tunaweza tembea tu na upiti kama utaki kupitia customs unaenda unazunguka juu hiyo gate haina unaenda na hizo utafanya ukiwa peke yako hebu imagine na family mzima Sa, na family nzima itakuwa ngori lakini ukiwa mwenyewe tu mimi mwenyewe hivi napita tu hivyo unaona Sorry sorry sasa tunaenda ku lose a lot the government is not thinking about the losing wanaenda ku lose a lot with this easy taxes wa make mob kwa Kenyans and also to foreigners wenye wanataka kuingia na hiyo kutu haras unatoa vitu kwa wa mkenya ni bala sasa hiyo for example hata watu wenye walikuwa wanaenda kuoana Kenya alafu wanarudi huku kufanya na Kenya so unaona hiyo marriage certificate what could be the solution sahi venye venye Kenya imefanya hivyo eh eh kwa sababu unajua si wa Kenya we talk about it but we don't do anything mimi personal yangu hawakuli cuz the blood kukuja Kenya anytime hata fadhali next next time niite shoshe yangu akuje ditembele yangu hawakuli but for the sake of hata ku invest kwa msai imekuwa kitu yenye hauko sure hiyo hizo vitu na invest ni kama at the end zitakuwa zako alafu umeona pia venye walikuwa na bomolea watu manyumba najua sipo wa kujenga kwa barabara ama place yenye si yako but hizo pia ziliniuma mimi personally mimi naweza sema solution ni venye tumeambiwa saa hii before waweke kitu out there wana wanaiacha ikwaze ikuwe discuss wacha kugonga watu una imagine mtu hii ilikuwa zero au ilikuwa halipi any fee kuingia Kenya sasa hii unalipa 200 euros ama 200 dollars ndio mtoto apatiwe visa kuingia Kenya si si normally mtoto wako nini mtoto wa mkenya ako under yourself hebu angalia hiyo karatasi before, before ilikuwa ako under wewe na ilikuwa zero ilikuwa with no fee saa hii uh-huh. hebu angalia hiyo paper tena wameandika mm-hmm. mtoto wa Kenyan citizen mwenye hana kupata visa ni 200 na ilikuwa from 0 to 200 so wewe yeah, watoto exactly. wako kama wote hawana Kenyan citizen watatu hizo ni 600 kuingiza yeah, tu na, na kama mimi niko na Kenyan pass wewe unaingia hivyo ah, lakini watoto lakini watu na walipia yes mahuruka kogwae mimi namaanisha watu watu kuja pole pole si semi ni vibaya ku tax watu juu pia huku tunalipa tax pia huku kuchukua passport unalipa lakini wakaa msroli but unajua wale wa Kenya tunaendanga kuoana home marriage certificate tao 100000 unajua unajua Kenya mimi mwana kuoana kwa chief ni mimi mwana like uh, like as Kenyans tunakanga like waves unajua ama ile 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 moto inakanga tu hapa juju right now we'll talk about it but we cannot do anything about it alafu itapotelea government ime, ime take advantage you know mm-hmm. they can do anything because itakuwa kama two weeks tuongee alafu hiyo story inyamazie so alafu kingine kingine watu wanaweza fanya ni wananchi wa LAN kuacha kuvoting na hii tribalism unajua kitu kingine ni huku nje hatuangaliangi mtu ati huyo ni mjaka huyo ni mluya huyo ni masai hapana huku nje tunaishingi kama wa Kenya but Kenya Kenya ndani watu sijui wanaonanga hapana kama si I think, I think, kama si ruto ju ya kashagu hatuta vote no na watu the, the best thing wanda. unakumbuka unakumbuka tuo tu ile time moja alikuwa mm-hmm. we came together na watu walisema enough is enough and i think kenya should be going that that way because ukiangalia kenya we don't have a lot to offer atuko na resources mob so sometimes mm-hmm. to depend tourism <coughs> na biashara. Na hapo baadhi ya sisi nimenikumbusha venye hizo vitu tulikuwa tunazo za kuofa coffee, tea, hizo vitu zote sijui exactly. zingeenda wapi. Kwanza nilikuwa mumia last time, miwa. Mumia sugar ili ili pasu, ili uliwa. Nilikuwa hiyo place I was like, "Kai, tutakuwa tunatoa askari huko India, yeah, huko China na huku tulikuwa hata sitakangi kuongea hizo story." That, that's what I'm saying. Like ukiangalia Kenya atuko na a lot. We don't have a lot but tuna depend on kilimo tourism but whatever they are doing it's not right. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm? Watu watazidi kuumia. Na ukiangalia hizo taxi zinataxiwa, ukiangalia kama kama German, wamejipanga. Kuna majobs. Sasa mtu atatoa do wapi ya kulipa tax? Kama sasa hizi. Alafu alafu another thing before we end the German si ulipa tax, lakini hakuna watu huu angalia mwananchi wa kawaida. Exactly. Kama German, mwananchi wa kawaida huku yuishi vizuri kuliko mwenye anafanya kazi. Kenya ni opposite. Sasa ukiangalia na hizo kuna hizo kazi pia za